Okay, my friends, now um, let me show you a picture. Look at this one. And as you see, uh, we've got um, a list of six animals. What, what's in common, you know, um, between these animals? There is something in common. Who can tell? Raise your hands if you've got an answer. Um, and please, for, for the other people, just lower your hands if you... Uh, if you don't have an answer for this, so that it's not confusing. Right. So let me go to um, Abdurrahman Muhammad. Abdurrahman, um, what do you think? Yes. Yes. I think that like these animals are endangered animals. So they're almost about to be like um, out of the nature one day. Mm. Excellent, my friend. That's a very lovely answer. Yeah. All these animals are endangered, right? Okay. And... Um, and we see also there is a, a sea animal here. Which which sea animal do you think this is, Abrahman? Uh, like I think this is like a whale. Yeah, yeah. It's yes. from the tail. It looks like a In whale. Right? Yes, yes, mm. yes. Lovely, lovely, my friends. So um, now I want you to look at this. My friends, we've got another picture here. And again, what do you see in this picture? Raise your hand if you have an answer. Okay, let me go to my friend um, Jenna. Jenna, what do you see here? I see a group of people gathering um, to protect killing whales, or again, sorry, against killing whales. Ah. Is that a whale? Oh, that's in my guess. Picture? I don't know. Does it oh, that's good? a shark. Oh, yeah, that's a shark. A, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. But again, see. I mean, I, I guess the message is not only for sharks. I guess it's for the sea in general. Yeah. Right. So, um, so now let me ask you another question, my friend. Um, are sea animals facing a problem? Let me um, ask Hibatullah Muhammad. Hiba, what do you think? Are sea animals facing problems? Yeah, I think because of catching them or just, just people trying to kill them all. Mm -hmm. So I think they, they are facing a problem here and this like a campaign to protest again at this action. Uh, and, 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 and do we have this kind of problem uh, here in Egypt, Jihad? Uh, I don't think so. I don't th think we have the same problem. Mm, but let me just move to Jihad. Jihad, are you there? Okay, so tell yeah, me, I mean, Jihad, yeah, yes, um, do you think we, we face this problem in Egypt? Like, um, Yeah, I think sea animals face a, a, a great problem in Egypt, maybe mainly because of pollution, water pollution, and the uh, amount of rubbish and garbage thrown in the water, maybe. Yeah, right, so we've got also the same pollution problem in seas and all that stuff. Abdurrahman want to add something? Yes, Abdurrahman. I think this process, it's like, we, we call it like the, the marine debris, when we have like a uh, rubbish and like uh, these stuffs like and inside the bottom of like a river or like um, the sea, this will call like marine debris. I think they are protesting and they are trying to just have enlighten the idea of like, uh, do not throwing like uh, uh, garbage and so on in, in inside the, the river or the Nile and so on. Yeah, yeah, very true, very true. One last comment here from Hiba before we move on. Yes, Hiba. Yes, I see here uh, in Egypt, um, the sea animals are facing uh, a, a very dangerous problem, which is the plastic uh, pollution. Mm, mm. Nowadays. What, can, can you tell, tell me more about what you mean by plastic pollution? Yeah, people uh, in, uh, in boats or in, um, in these kinds of... Uh, in the sea, in general, they are uh, uh, in ocean or in any, um, or in the sea or something like this. They are uh, throwing plastic, plastic bags or anything or um, what, or destroying. I mean, they are destroying the entire place just by uh, doing this. Yeah. So they put uh, the 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 uh, the animal, the sea animal, in captivity as if he uh, this animal is in captivity by throwing a bag or a uh, plastic uh, thing uh, and it uh, roll around it so they uh, they are threatening the the, uh, the fish uh, in our sea by doing this 
Um, unfortunately, uh, this makes um, uh, the, uh, the, sen the, the sea animals in danger. Okay, thank you so much, Hibbe. I got your, your, your point. Yeah, I mean, lovely answers from all of you, my friend. But let me take you now. Let me take you to this coming task. Give me one sec. I'll be sharing the screen. Now, my friends, um, I guess it's obvious for you now what kind of text we're going to handle, right? We're going to handle a text that goes about sea animals and the problems they're facing. But before we do so, what I want you to do is to check this list of difficult words. I want you to go through this list and use your own mobile dictionary or laptop dictionary. Check the meaning of these difficult words. And once you're ready, Raise your hands. Okay, so take your time. Go on. I can see two people are ready now. Good. Waiting for more. Okay, lovely jubbly. So now time to work in groups and help each other. See whether you agree on the meanings of these words, right? Let me send you to breakout rooms, my friends. It, it means a kind of, uh, of fish, uh, various bottom dwelling fishes. It's called the Samak al Qad, as I have uh, found it on Google Translate in Arabic. Yeah, yeah, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, found it. it refers to a kind of fish. So, do you agree with her? Yes, totally agree. Okay. And the second one, I think it's a uh, fishing vessel. Vessel? It's kind of stop. Exactly. And decline, I guess, to decrease. Yes. Uh, yes. Conservation is like kind of some kind of restriction. Yeah. Conservation, conservation, some kind of restriction of rules. Yes. Uh, right. And you have revolution. The word has a lot of meaning. Um, so here it's like a small boat, and we can use it in the military boats, military uh, ships. You know? Yeah, but in this context, it's in this context. Yes, basically, yes, I know. Is, but yeah, this is yeah, where they it, fish. Yeah. yeah. Right. So to ruin, to ruin, yeah, to destroy something. To right? damage. Or, yeah, damage or destroy, right? Absolutely. And then terminal is something the, like the, the end, end point of it. Yeah. 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 Something what? The end well, point I, of something. Yeah, there's uh... the end point of something. Yeah, the end of something. The final oh, destination. Yeah, of something. Yeah. Could be that. Yeah. Yeah, it could be that as well. Yeah. To decline, decline, like to to, to, to the opposite of agree, uh, yeah, agree oh, yeah, yeah, like to reject. Yes, I think so. It's like according to Oxford Dictionary, it's like a, a place or building or set of buildings where journeys by train, bus, or boat begin or end. Mm -hmm. This is terminal. Or I, I think so. It might be like the, the meaning of this word. I'm not sure about it. It, it depends on the context. But according to the dictionary, mm -hmm. it has like three different mm -hmm. like yani meanings. Mm -hmm. It might yeah. be a piece of equipment. It might be like um, it might be like a place where like um, boats can like just like stay in. It depends wait. on the type of the noun, uh, the word. If it's a noun, yeah. an adjective, and so on. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. yes. Uh, let's go to the next word, which is the word decline as a verb. Mm -hmm. Decline is to, to cancel. Mm -hmm. To cancel. Mm -hmm. It's one of the meanings, maybe. Mm -hmm. Or? To refuse, refuse. something. Yeah. To refuse, yes. Or even when it comes to the size of something, we might like, become smaller or fewer or weaker. Uh, it yeah. depends on the context. Perfect. Uh, uh, conservation. I know this word. It. I think this is like um, related. Like the person who is like uh, like conservation is like the, the the process of like making sure that that the nature um, is not harmed. I think so. It's protection. I didn't think this word. It's yeah. a kind of protection. The protection of the animals. animals. Yes, and, yeah. uh, and, and and the noun of this word, which is like he's like a conservationist. The, the person like who goes yeah. to like, the mm. forest and then make sure that like there's no uh, harm to the, to the nature and so on. Uh, Is he a scientist one? or it's a kind of job? Uh, kind of I, job? I think it's a kind of job, yes. Maybe mm. he has like, 
Yes. It did. Okay. I found it as quarter or something like this. A verb? A verb? Uh, quarter. Yeah. Um, I think the first to maximum quantity of something. H have you searched it, guys? Yeah. Uh, it, is, it is a noun. It means limited amount. Limited amount. Yeah, amount. I find limited and the maximum. Or, uh, yeah, or, or limited number. Exactly. Yeah. I, I stopped here. I haven't go for this. So we can continue. Yeah. Go ahead, guys. Okay, so, so Yeah. Which one do you stop about? This one. Last year. Last year. Okay, so uh, for me, uh, I think that this word means something that's very large uh, or area yeah. of eyes that moves slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah large mass of eyes. Yes, yes. Perfect. Okay, yeah, this one, this so, one. Right. <laughs> Welcome back, my friends. Let's, let's, let's go through quickly and talk a, a bit about these words. Cord. Who's ready for this one? Who's ready for this? Da, da, da. Right. Mm. Okay, let me go to Sarah Bedoui. Sarah, what do you think? Okay, it's a kind of fish, I guess. Yeah, good answer. Thank you, my friend. Um, let me go to Maram Mustafa. Maram, what about fishing vessel? Like it's a um, kind of boat. Maram, or oh, there's two Maram. Oh, Maram, that's Mustafa. Maram, Maram Mustafa. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm really sorry, Maram. Okay, so um, it's a kind of boat that catch fish uh, with a huge number of fish. Good, good, good. Thank you so much. And You're to welcome. ruin Maram Fatayer. To want to damage, the idea of damaging something, mm -hmm. like to being damaged. Excellent answer. Okay, let me go to uh, Hiba Radwan. Hiba, what about terminal? Unmute yourself, Hiba. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, something lead ultimately to death. Fatal. Uh, it means also terminal, the end of something. But here, uh, I think this meaning will fit the context. Something okay. lead to death. Oh, yeah. I Is mean, right? I would say it's a negative adjective. And uh, yeah. something that is terminal, usually it is used with diseases. So uh, you can say a terminal disease. Yeah. So it's, it's not that kind of nice adjective. It's not used in good context. Lovely. Now, thank you so much. Let me go to Jihad. Jihad, what about to decline? Uh, to decline is to cancel something or to refuse it. Very good. Yeah, to decrease or to cancel. Lovely, my friend. Now, let me go to Hassan Gawet. Hassan, what about conservation? Uh, hello, Dr. Shadi. Uh, this is about the um, process of saving or protecting something. Very good, very good. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, to keep something intact, to save something. Very good. Now, uh, let me go for the word delicate and let me ask Abdurrahman Muhammad. Abdurrahman, what about delicate? What, what do you think it means? Um, uh, I think it means like easily damaged or broken. Yeah, right. Something that is fragile. Right, very good. Now, let me go to um, my friend um, Omar. And Omar, what about um, revolutionize? Uh, yeah, I think uh, revolu revolutionize is something like to go that appears all of a sudden and to go against something else, like against the direction of something else. Hmm. Well, that yeah, I mean, it's very close because it, it, it comes from the word revolution. But to revolutionize, yeah. I guess, is to change, yeah, but in a strong exactly. way. Like it's, 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 it's not, you know... A slight change. It is a big, big change, right? A major one. It's yeah, a major, a major one. one, right. Right, let me go now to uh, Ganna. And Ganna, what about quota? The simplified meaning that I've got is a portion of something. Yeah. Is that right? It is right. That That's one of the meanings. Sometimes it's a limited amount of something at an exact time. Right. Um now, let me move now to my friend, uh, Mahmoud al Ghamri. Mahmoud, long yes. time no see, my friend. Yeah, how are you, Dr. Chadi? <laughs> now, let's talk about glacier. Nice to meet you again. Thank you so much. Same here. So, uh, glacier, glacier, I think a large mass of ice. Yeah. And, 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 and a large, you said a large what? Mass of ice. Yes, very true. Very true. What about mm -hmm. a seabed? Um, and let me check with my friend um, 
وفاء علي what's the seabed وفاء I think it is about the the ground of the sea yeah yeah very true good answer my friend now let me go to um uh, Asma is Sayyid Asma what about substantial or crucial I think it may be important thing important yeah yeah very true very true and finally let's go to Sarah Bedawi Sarah what about marbled rocks like it's a kind of rock that is shaped in a specific way like we googled it together in, in the breakout room but yeah. we didn't get the specific meaning for this word you're right let me show you a quick picture here from google just um one sec yeah, yeah. these are marbled rocks they look they look really beautiful eh mm -hmm. okay lovely jabli nice 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 now Let me, my friends, show you something and let me share the screen. Look at this. You are going, my friends, to read a passage from an IELTS exam. So, um, and this passage carries this heading, this title, Marine Ecosystems. Now, what I want you to do is to think about the content of this passage a passage with this title what do you think the kind of information in this passage will be so i want you to think about this i'll give you one minute to think about the content of this passage based on that name take your time and raise your hands once you're ready okay my friends right now i will send you to breakout rooms this time, every three in a room, all I want you to do is to tell your partner about what you expect to be in this passage, a passage carrying this name, Marine Ecosystems. Let's go. Um, yeah. And of course, like how to protect them against these problems and also how to like to focus on the solutions and how to uh, like set some punishments against people who are like doing this kind of uh, problems. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so I have like a different idea, which is uh, since it says marine ecosystem is going to talk like about the marine creatures, which is like maybe we can handle like uh, like endangered creatures uh, or sea creatures, whatever. We can also we can also discuss like the food chain of the marine uh, creatures like fishes and things like that. Uh, also the types of that and as you said, of course, like the the problems that might like people are trying are trying to like handle so find a solution for. So I think that's what it's going to be like about in why in one way and another. Yeah. yeah. So it's my it, 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 it might tackle like the, the actions that should be taken in order to deter such a deed, which is like yeah. throwing or, or like killing the ecosystem or like doing something against the ecosystem. So let's like actions should be taken to deter like such deeds. Uh, it, as you mentioned, the statistics, uh, uh, marine debris, and like mentioned the analysis of the problem and so on. Yes, yes, I totally agree with that. So we uh, we gonna add to my list uh, actions, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and we gonna add deeds like um, sea levels uh, changes and so on. Okay, my friends, right, right, right. So um, I want you to tell me: were were you right in your discussions? Yes or no? So. Please raise your hands if you want to share. So let me go to Taqwa. Taqwa, um, how was your discussion with your partners? I think it's a totally different. To oh, this. Really? Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> what did you expect? No, nothing exactly. Mm, okay, okay. Right. Okay, we, yes, keep going. We did this something different, like, for example, natural phenomena and sea level changing and the, well, the um, concept of ecosystem and so on so mm, okay oh, it's totally right. different <laughs> uh, right so let me go to jihad jihad yes. um, what about your discussion um uh, were you able to were, yeah the, there were two points uh, we um, mainly uh, uh, had the same ideas 
for the types of animals that was endangered Good. Uh, in, in the marine ecosystem and the problems that uh, threat them. Okay, lovely. So you were able yeah. to uh, anticipate that. Very good. Yeah. So one last comment from Jenna. Jenna, how, how about your discussion with your partners? Actually, we were right about two things. The first one that uh, Maram said was about the uh, fishing fossils and their uh, actually contribution in the decline of the amount of fishes that we have in the sea. Number mm. two is the damages that we have uh, or that we did to the sea and still do, by the way, uh, and that can cause in the um, to to be a danger for rare or specific species of mm. fish. Okay, wonderful, lovely, lovely, lovely. So now, my friends, let me make it a bit more challenging. So let me share the coming um, handout. And my friends, look at this. As you see, we have a list of headings here, right? I want you to read these headings carefully and try to guess what kind of information will be included in a paragraph with this heading. So, for example, let me do the first one with you. Plans for more marine protected areas. Plans for more marine protected areas. What, what do you expect to read in a paragraph with this heading? Um, raise your hands if you have an idea. I can see Akram. Akram, what do you think? Uh, I think in this paragraph, sir, the, like it would be talking about uh, kind of methods uh, in order to uh, protect more uh, like kind of areas with, uh, you know, fish and marine things. I love that. Okay, so different methods or ways of protecting areas. Um, nice. Let me go to um, Hiba. What do you think, Hiba? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, plans for more marine protected areas. Yes, uh, just the methods of uh, protecting the areas. Uh, uh, some uh, maybe uh, apply techniques they have done before and it worked. So uh, they are suggesting it. Uh, okay, or so maybe statistics right. about yeah, or statistics about some things so that the scholars have agreed uh, to. Okay, I so we've got methods, statistics, yeah. suggestions. Okay, lovely. Um, I guess Abdul Rahman was raising a hand. Abdul Rahman, uh, do you have a different idea to share about the first heading? I, I don't want to be repetitive, but like literally the same. Like as my colleagues mentioned, that I, I think more actions should be taken to deter such deeds or like you'll be like mentioning that the areas that should they should like somehow prohibited like uh the the, the the marine debris and so on lovely jubbly so now my friends you see what i did with the first heading i'm going to send you these headings now to your whatsapp group and i'm going to send you to breakout rooms and with your partners you will try to predict the kind of information that would be included inside paragraphs with these headings. Easy peasy lemon squeezy? Oh, well, okay. Let me send you then to breakout rooms. So let's start. So let's, let's start, yeah. guys. Uh, what do you think about the second one? A historical overview of one specific area. You want me to share it? Or do you have it? Okay, you have it. All right. Historical overview of a specific area. Yeah, uh, that could be uh, like information about uh, species. Yeah, a longer time, living. like in, yeah, in a chronological order. Maybe we can say. Uh, but here, it's guys, historical. they're saying of one specific area, so they're not talking one specific about specific area. Yeah, area. like the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, yeah, exactly. Some, yes. So, for example, what, what, what kind of uh, species of fish uh, yes. we have in the Mediterranean? Because we're, we're not living here. Yeah, for so, example, but it's histori uh, historical. So, how it is historical and we are, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's not talking about in general, like the, the fish is there. They are talking historical. The yeah, like through, through history, because yes, some so were the, uh, Yeah, uh, working uh, methods. 
they are well, maybe maybe, maybe to learn some lessons yeah maybe Sorry. theoretical research you know yeah some exactly we'll do research research. yeah right of course yeah my great happening yeah. this early okay, okay so what do you think about number three why one more hasn't been done to save marine creatures one more uh i think because of people you know uh, all the time they threw uh, rubbish or garbage in the into the ocean. Uh, maybe fishmen. They yeah, they are discussing the, the time. suggestion. You mean? Sorry for interruption. They are discussing suggestion here. Why more has it been done? No, just the what? what? Uh, just ah, guessing. Yeah. No. Guessing. Yeah. 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 Guessing. guessing. Well, I, I, I think. I uh, think about the reasons. I uh, think about yeah. the reasons. Uh, um why do we have the exact or um you know the same solution all the time mm -hmm. to solve this problem because this problem is always there and here something so breast can cover this uh, ideas and this news there no, I'm sorry, can you come again? I didn't get that one. Can you just... Yeah, yeah. Okay, you know this point in the ocean um, called the triangle of the uh, dangers? Why, why Why this specific area? I mean... Yeah, why the two yeah. It, it talks about the, the diversity. There, there is in, yes, yeah, it talks about the biological there, there diversity. Did, did, uh -huh. you read, did you read the, the, the title? Where biodiversity has been shown to help. Like oh, where? you change the title, okay? I'm talking about the uh, previous one, okay? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So yeah, we're done with that one, right? Yeah. Uh, we're yes. one. So we're, this we're is how one. biological diversity, or how biological dif differently biological, uh, maybe methods, um, mm -hmm. have been helpful, and how they can show that. But I'm not really sure what biodiversities are what exactly what kind of biological diversity they're yeah, talking they didn't about. give us any examples of which creatures that we are talking about so basically what you're saying now that actually gives me an idea maybe they're going to talk about different creatures coming together and that might have helped in yes. resolving the the issue that that could be one yeah. thing like the the like the life of one creature yeah. could help as a, you, know, so, you know as a self protection you know could be yeah yeah why not yeah i we can say hidden like uh, hidden news. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we, we can say as well. We can say um, it's gonna be like statistics or data or surprisingly, you know, the endangered endangered species of fish that nobody have talked about it, and the press has been like completely silent about it. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What the press has missed. Yep. 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 Uh, where biodiversity has been shown, shown to help. Where biodiversity has shown to help. Um, kind of confusing one. Yeah. yeah. Biodiversity <laughs> has been shown to help. Looks a little bit vague to me. Where, let's say it would be like an informative one and, and that's it. Um, I, we can skip to the next one and go back to this one so that we don't wait. Okay. All right. Who's currently being blamed yeah this one is about blaming the that is all by the, the like yeah. the, the elements of this like literally the the the, the government the the people uh, yeah. even the, the media uh always like the parties to blame here also a reason for some of yes i mean life faces okay so uh we can oh, move to the next that one breast, i think the breast uh, didn't reach to the core of the problem in this uh, environment as for Maybe. yeah they so this uh, the core the main reason for this um crisis in the in this environment yeah yes Mr. ahmad move ahead okay so the next question is uh where uh, biodiversity has been shown to help so uh i think that it's gonna tackle the point of uh lacking something maybe and like uh there is a something that cannot be handled like 100 percent so uh it, it will show some uh disadvantages about something maybe because here i can see like uh 
despertone, despertone, and like uh, losing hope about something. Maybe, maybe. but yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. So let's move to number uh, next one, who is currently being blamed. Yeah, uh, I think this one it can be clear. It can guess it can give us some information about uh, people or. Uh, uh, the persons who are to blame for uh, the problems that uh, the main life faces. Mm -hmm. Maybe. So, uh, to discuss the responsibility. Maybe some, maybe some governments. The responsibility of this problem. You yes. Mean? Yes. Maybe some. For example, some uh, some governments, some the companies, causes. like. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. That's true. I have read an article once that they use dynamite to fish. Can you imagine? <laughs> no, truly, I swear to God, I have seen this before. They use a dynamite or some kind of a... Um, Maybe a long time ago. Yeah, a trip mine. No, actually, very recently. They used really? like, some kind of trade mines because they want to um, have a large number of fish. Large number. So mm -hmm. they can't use a net. So they use explosives. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine creative. that? Yeah, yeah creative. <laughs> creative. Uh, uh, how, how many points have you covered till now? Actually, uh, all, of all, them, all of them. Right now. So all headings. Good. I'll yes. check yeah. on the other rooms before we go to the, uh, the main session. All right. right, sir. Fishing is not the only problem. There are other problems beside fishing. So he's going to mention some factors, some other factors. Yeah. My friends, sorry to interrupt. How many points have you covered? All of them, actually. All of them. All of them, I think. Yeah. Let's go back to the main back. session. Okay. Okay. Okay, my friends. So now um, you anticipated um, the content of the paragraphs with these headings. Now it is time to check your anticipation and your prediction. Right. So what I'm going to do, I am going actually to send you the passage. Let me show it to you first. So my friends, here is the whole passage and it has paragraphs A, B, C, D, E and F and G. Right. It's lovely. So what you need to do now, I'll send you this handout to your WhatsApp group and you have 10 minutes to match each paragraph to one of the headings. Now, uh, there is no need to remind you that you're trying to match, okay, by looking at the main idea. So try to locate the idea and then match it. So let me go to Umar. Umar, how much time do you have, my friends, to read this passage? Uh, five minutes. 10 minutes. <laughs> right. <laughs> and are you going to read slowly or quickly? No, no, just the main idea. Yeah, that's a quick reading, right? Okay, the main idea for each paragraph. Let me send you this, my friend, to your WhatsApp group. You have it now in your WhatsApp group. Okay, right, my friends. Now, let me send you to breakout rooms. I want you to discuss with your partners. Do you agree on the answers? Yes or no? Let's do this. I like by it, I'm gonna go by by order, and you tell me if if this actually goes well with you. Okay. Yeah. Number first for me, uh, paragraph A is who's being blamed? Who's currently being blamed? Uh, number B, what's the pre what the press is missing? Yeah. And then uh, number C, the historical account. Yeah. And then number D, various facts. Yeah. And then E, where biodiversity, I think, helps, can because I just wrote a bit of the title, not the whole thing. And then number yeah. F, yeah, a reason for uh, optimism. Mm -hmm. And the last one is why more has not been done. That's basically what I have. I'm not really sure if that matches what you have, but yeah, I'd like to hear you guys. I have only uh, two points uh, in which I, uh, I was really confused. Uh, number yeah, eight. Yeah, let's do that. I, I okay. wasn't. I wasn't sure about that. Okay. Uh, 
I didn't so, find a suitable one for it, so uh, I left it. Well, uh, okay, hold on, because I'm talking about uh, um, okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah. I'm going to do something. I'm not really sure if you want me to uh, share the the passage, or you do have the passage. I do you have it? it? Yeah. Okay, we have the passage. Oh, right. So the first one is the first part. Let's just go to the passage. I'm going to read it with you guys, and mm -hmm. let's check. So for some time now, is that what you were talking about? The first pass, the first paragraph, right? A yeah. Okay. For some time now, the world's oceans and the people who fish them have been a constant source of bad environment news. So basically, we're talking, we're pinpointing to the ones who, who to be blamed. You're yeah. talking about, yeah, the world's oceans and the people who fish them have been a constant source of bad environmental news. So those are the yeah. people who are causing the damage. Those are the people that we need to blame, right? Okay. Um, are you convinced? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right okay. now, yeah. <laughs> right, right. Okay, so which, which, which one? Uh, I think you said something else, right? Uh, it was number uh, E. Okay, let's go to number E. Okay, that's number E. Let's go to number E. I'm just uh, I'm just trying to read with you guys, so I could um. Okay, so number E. Yeah, what the science paper has demonstrated, however, is that the decline in the health of ecosystem systems is greater where the number of different species is low. Okay, so here there is like a, an inversely proportional kind of um, relation. So there is mm -hmm. a decline, okay, when there's a greater number. Yes. So there is a decline in number or the decline in health where there's a greater number of something. So here we can find some kind of diversity in biological creatures here or biological entities, if you can, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay. So yes. where the health of the ecosystems decline, you can find greater number of different species low, okay? Mm -hmm. And then... Yeah, okay. So if you go ahead, if you go ahead and read the rest of it, you'll find that population of marble draw caught around this, uh, the South Atlantic island of South Georgia, mm -hmm. for example, still hasn't recovered. So it's still suffering, right? After yeah. the fishing industry caused its collapse during, uh, yeah, I guess. So basically, it it sort of survives this South Georgia thing survives uh, on, I guess, more more fish. Because yeah. when the fishing started to collapse, I guess. Oh no, no, no! It's actually it's, it's actually the opposite. Mm -hmm. it, it, can Can you read that part again, please? I read the rest of the sentences. The same okay. here. I just starting with the heading and uh, the first. That's it. Yeah. Sentence, and then I, I I didn't actually care about uh, the supporting sentences, so I cared only about the first one and the last one. Yeah. Um, and somehow they are similar, you know. Exactly. Yes, I Perfect. totally agree. Uh, let's move to the paragraph G. I, I think it, it goes with I. I, okay. Protective areas. I think it mentions plants. Do you think the same? Actually, I, I don't know if it's true or not, but okay. I think it's uh, that one. I, I, I choose what the, no, not the what the breast has messed. No, that was number B. Actually, Oh, let me reread it again, but uh, because I choose it for number B and then I changed it, so just yeah, give take me your time. Yeah, uh, this, yeah, we try to agree on this somehow. I think we have all the same answers, but we missed only two up to now. We yes. have different answers about only two, and we're waiting for the third one. Uh, Akram, do you want to participate? Sorry. I'm um, talking to Akram. I don't know if he can hear us or not. Is he still with us? I don't know. So wh what, do you, uh, what do you think the answer is? Oh I think it goes with I. Um, I, mean, just, I, I, uh, I replace the word tendency, okay, to tend to do something yeah. with a plan. <laughs> That's a smart okay. move. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, Actually, I'm totally afraid yeah. that we are, we are yeah. um, cooking something bad here. Hey, we, we, we're trying to have fun and just guess. No, we, we don't yeah. know the right answer. Just Yeah, we're just guessing. So actually... Teachers, we're not students. No, no, no. Don't say that, please. We're trying. We're very smart, actually. Smart. Protected areas. So what do you think? 
Did you know that G G with the, which number? Which headline? I did it with one. One, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, plans. But uh, what do you I'm, think, Captain Um, mm, I'm not sure, but I, I, I think it, it, it will not go with like a one. I'm not sure. Human nature outstrips towards those species. I okay, think well, the final one. I'm not sure. I think number three. Why more? Um, uh, Has not been done to save marine creatures. Um, well, I'm not sure of anything to be quite honest. Yeah, <laughs> no idea. Well, me too. It's completely uh, confusing. Okay, my friends, welcome back to the main session. Um, where is Nancy? Okay, right. Nancy, how are you? Hello. Hi. Okay. Um, it it seems that you have just joined. Um, haven't yes. you? I've just joined. Yes. Right. Okay. So let me just you know um, tell you where we are exactly. Um, we're talking about matching headings. We are in the middle of a demo lesson. Okay, my friend. So uh, yes. And and now we're just checking the answers for the passage that your friend uh, has read and finished. Okay. And cool. we're going to yeah. continue, right? Okay. Good. Lovely. Um, now, my friends, please check your answers. And if you have questions for me, um, I'll be ready to answer them. Just lower your hands so that I'm not confused and raise them once you finish checking. Okay, my friends, have we finished checking questions or so? Lower your hands and just keep them up if you have questions for me about any of the answers. Were fair? So any questions about the answers, something that you're not convinced with or you want to discuss more? Oh, okay. Let's go to Maram. Yes, Maram. Could you explain the last one? The last one. Let me check that, Maram. Let me share the screen. Okay. You mean by the last one, number 34, right? Which is the triple I? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me just um, share the passage itself so that we can all look at it. Right. One sec. So now. Um, it's G. It's G, right? Okay. Thank you for helping me. Right. And uh, can you read the heading for me, Jihad, or read the answer, which is triple I? Okay, sir. Why more has not been done uh, to save marine creatures? Okay, can you say it again? Why more hasn't hasn't been done to save the marine creatures? Who answered this as triple I? Raise your hands. Like who was able to get G right? Oh, okay. So we have Rede. Rede. So why did you choose this answer for this one? Can you explain that to your friend? Yeah. So basically they're asking why more hasn't been done to save. So if you look at the first uh, couple of lines, it says, however, there has long been a tendency to view our oceans as a limitless resources combined with a widespread failure to make an emotional connection with the most marine wildlife, right? So here it tells you, why people hasn't been cooperative enough, why people hasn't, why people haven't been more, um, they, they don't have the tendency to help out when it comes to marine life, because other types of nature and other types of habitats and other types, they have the tendency to uh, sympathize and empathize with other types of nature. So basically, this is why. Excellent. And look at the last couple of lines. They're really amazing. They say, that's why there will always be support for protecting pandas. Yeah. And, and very little for worms. Even though, okay, nematodes play a vital role in maintaining the health of an ecosystem. Like, like worms can be more important than pandas, but people will tend to protect pandas more. It's because of this emotional connection. <laughs> Rov lovely. Is this clear for you, Maram? Good. Yes, Good. doctor. Um, so, any questions about any other parts that you feel like you're not sure of? Rede? 
Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. Um, any other problems that you would love to discuss? Okay, good. Then... Now, my friends, let's come to some speaking now. Ha ha ha. Right. And let me share this task on the screen. Look at this. One second. Okay. Now, and the task here is describe an occasion when you saw someone polluting the Nile. <laughs> and I know that would bring, um, would bring up, you know, like some um, unhappy memories. Right. Good. Now, you should say, where were you at, at that time? What was that person doing? How this was harmful? How was this harmful to marine life? How this made you feel? What the government should do about such people? Right, right, right? Okay. So now, what I want you to do, my friends, okay, take one minute, prepare for this task and then you'll be speaking to your partner for two minutes from one to two minutes telling them about your own story so let me go to um Wafa Ali Wafa are you there yes I'm here so how much time do you have for preparation Wafa two minutes no one minute one minute okay and how much time uh, would you spend speaking to your friends about this? Two minutes. Yeah, from one to two. One is fine, but two is the best. Right, okay. okay. So I'll send you this task to your WhatsApp group. It's there now. You have one minute. One minute, my friends. Okay, my friends. Now, let me send you to breakout rooms, okay? Three per room. And let's do that. I think I've shared you the question that Shari sent us, so we can start. Go on, Abdurrahman. Have you had? Yeah, I've I've been trying to come for like to come up with a story, but right? literally, I, yes, I didn't, like, yes. The same here. But let's let's use like an imaginative one. So yeah. where were you at that time? Um, I attended a like I attended a concert or like I I attended a wedding, uh, and then like I was outside only to 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 catch like a fresh air, uh, and then I noticed someone. Uh, was trying to twirl around looking like if people are like observing what he's doing um, and then he was trying to get like um, a tissue from his like um, uh, pocket and trying to throw this like tissue uh, in the nine how this was harmful to marine life um, for sure it definitely will uh, affect like uh, the, the marine life like imagine that all the people are throwing like their uh, garbage and trash like into the night that would be more um, um, somehow harmful like to other like uh, nature and so on how yeah. this made you feel it was completely dying uh, I was like feeling it's a disgusting like um, issue uh, to be honest uh, and I feel that I'm, I'm the nine like owner uh, I'm, I'm, I belong to this one it somehow affects me as, as an individual in this country but I didn't like I didn't like um, avoid or ignore what he was doing uh, and what is what was like what is the government should do about such people uh we we lack the the, the way of like capturing those guys so we we have to somehow use like um maybe we, we have to find them you know? yeah find yeah, people I, 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 I mean like we, we lack the, the methods in order to to find them or catch them so we can use different way of like uh, conveying the message through like billboards, um, um, uh, advertisements, and like and in, in, in the TV and like between the programs and the matches and so on. So they should somehow enlighten the, the people, the enlighten people's mind, and, and that's it. My friend, you should have been a novelist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a <laughs> truly. Two effects um, in my eyes. So uh, I felt really under the weather uh, in that situation. <laughs> So, um, in my opinion, government should really set some rules and, and, and maybe some fines against this kind of behavior. Um, I think people won't understand and won't be aware about how to deal with that situation unless we have a kind of um, a reaction or a kind of really like um, 
preventing that situation or preventing that action. So I think the government should really cooperate uh, with people or try to aware them about how to stop this action. Nice. That's, <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I don't have babies, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no closure. <laughs> I can I can uh, call mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you get a nice finale, right? Okay, so I'll go with mine, guys. Uh, right. So I remember one day my husband and I were going somewhere to in Madi to visit some of our relatives, and on the way he decided to stop um, at the near Badrawi Hospital. If you know where that is, it's it's quite on the like on the Cornish. So basically, we uh, had to park somewhere right next to the hospital. He left me in the car and he went to the right into the hospital where I saw a lady that she was walking and she was like she was uh, she had a baby on her shoulders and she had two other kids. And along the way, they were like it was like they were negotiating something. And then one of them decided actually, well, in a vulgar slangy way to take a leak. So basically, she just took them aside and the, the, her little kid, it was almost like five or six years. He just took his shorts off and he started urinating. And that was like, I was shocked because like, I mean, like it was right in front of everyone. I was like, it was public. <laughs> and I was, I was taken aback actually. I was like, should I just go and talk to them or do what exactly? I mean, and I was like, uh, hey, hey, <laughs> are you okay with that? <laughs> she was like, yeah. Do you think like, you know, where, where, where he can do that? I mean, like, is it like wider? His short is wider than the Nile. And I was like, oh my God, I shouldn't have interfered. So yeah, he did it actually. And it was, and definitely this harmful for marine life. And I should have kept my mouth shut. But mm. anyways, I mean, definitely there's a lot of sodium and a lot of chloride coming out of urinate. We discovered something. We discovered something. We discovered that when you get a ticket and you get a specific place to sit, now uh, the ticket has your uh, phone number so after you finish, if you uh, leave a rubbish, any rubbish, any kind of rubbish, uh, you will get a fine. And you can know your um, name or uh, using your, your mobile phone. So uh, that was the situation. So this man um, was to uh, pay a fine for his situation or for his mistake. Wow, what an imaginary situation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but no one seems to care about anything, actually. Yeah, there has been, like, there has been, like, in, uh, for a while, and nobody seems to care about anything. That's why I say the actual action that can be taken is, like, through education and educating the, the younger generation, because this is the soft power that we have. Advertising, we have been advertising about, you know, overproduction or uh, having multiple children have been like doing a lot of campaigns about such stuff, but nobody seems to care. So, as I said, it's just the problem with these small communities that you cannot get in between or, you know, convince them to change something. Uh, it was a time when I was at Mkhanadar. Do you know Mkhanadar? Of course, uh, it's nearby uh, the river uh, yeah. where Muhammad Ali built his uh, the bridge. Uh, I was there uh, having a picnic and uh, with my, with my family and uh, there was a person uh, who has also his own family uh, having a picnic there they left he left them and put um, a, a big bag of, of trash or garbage in the river after i think it's a leftover of his food so i really felt you know heart breaking and and the uh, grieved if i can say this um um, of course, it is harmful uh, to the marine life. Um, it may, you know, uh, collapse the, the entire ecosystem itself and uh, lead to the uh, extinct of all forms of life in the uh, in the uh, in the in the river, the Nile. Uh, oh, sorry, Nile River. And especially, it is the, the main source of life in Egypt. So um, I think the, uh, you know, the, the government of these things in the river because they are not well educated. Um, they believe that, OK, as long as such things, they are not uh, in our houses. So we are safe. But they, they don't understand that they are harming themselves. And it's very harmful to the marine life 
Um, so um, I'm sorry for such a stressing story. Um, it wasn't related to polluting the Nile, but uh, kind of related, I guess. Okay, my friends, welcome, welcome. Right, um, now I would like you to tell me about the interesting stories you heard from your friends. So you're, you're not going to tell me about your story. No, I, need, I, I want to listen to your friends' stories, the interesting ones. So raise your hands if you have something to share, something you heard from your partners. No, oh, it seems that I'm going to choose myself. <laughs> Right. Let's go to Maram Fatayr. Maram, are you there? Can you pass me halas and this time, just for this time, it's 11.38 here in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Maram, what happens in our private rooms stays in our private rooms, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's secret halas anyway. <laughs> It will never stay in the room, Gheda. I mean, it was recorded. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Gheda told a very amazing story. I mean, it's an everyday story in Egypt, Yanni. Well, I, right. Um, but I guess Safwat was about to say something. Yes, Safwat. Okay, for me, uh, I heard a story from one of my colleagues. Uh, it was about like a boy uh, was throwing some chemicals in the Nile and uh, my colleague was driving his car and he cannot do something for that. Uh, he noticed the coat, the medical coat, you know, that the white coat of uh, doctors and uh, something like that. Okay. So we, he, he thought that he is like a student uh, in faculty of medicine or pharmacy or something like that because of the kind of chemicals that he was throwing in the sea or the Nile. Uh, the point here that the situation was like shocking for him and he cannot do anything for, for that situation because he was driving, as I told you. Mm -hmm. And the government here should uh, like do something like a fine uh, for this person be to be like fined immediately on the spot. Mm. because people will uh, never ever do that again but yeah i mean uh, I, it's, it's really horrible when this happens yes. you know yes. destroying nature and mm. right yes. wonderful thank you so uh who who wants to share a story he heard from his friends mm. oh i can see it in um jihad's eyes yes jihad yeah <laughs> uh but miss miss Reda told that it's gonna be private <laughs> <laughs> but I think it wasn't private because it, it happened publicly. I mean, like they they had okay. no shame whatsoever. I mean, like, and he okay. made you know, like he did it as it was as if it was his second nature. I mean, like he just went off. Yeah. And his... <laughs> Woo, okay. you know? She told Ms. us Reda, about Ms. Reda, uh, We are not strangers. We are family now, so yeah. no secrets between families. <laughs> so you can go ahead. Uh, and you can, everybody uh, you can get okay, Jihad, yeah, if you like. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Please, Jihad, go ahead. <laughs> okay, Ms. Reda told us about uh, once she was uh, wandering in the streets uh, uh, near Al Ma'adi, uh, as, as far as I remember. And she saw a family, uh, uh, a man and his wife with their two uh, little children. And uh, when she was talking and, and discussing something during the road, uh, uh, one of her cats stopped and uh, asked for a WC, something like this. And um, without, without uh, a time to, to think, the mother uh, stopped uh, 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 near the river and take the, his uh, shorts off and let him to, to make in, in, it in the river, you know. <laughs> 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 the thing is, the thing is that it, it felt like it, as if they were not doing anything. I mean, like I was, I was to be That's the one okay. who would be called to shame. I was like, yeah. how dare you tell me no. what to do and what not to do? I was like, hey, are you okay with that? And she said, absolutely okay with that. It's <laughs> like, a right for every citizen. Yeah. You know, yeah, she was oh like, she was yeah, surprised I mean, that I asked just, her. It's just so bad, so bad. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. so bad, right? Uh, it's, uh, like, I'm, I'm teaching you this session. I'm actually 
sitting by the River Nile. And I can tell you that years and years ago, when I was a child, people used to swim in the Nile. Now, you can come to this area. It's a dead area now. You know, um, I mean, all the clubs that used to be full of people coming to swim in the Nile, I mean, nobody can swim anymore. It's because thousands and thousands of that kind of <laughs> family <laughs> doing it in the Nile yeah. for years. Bloody hell. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's like an army of kids taking leaks. <laughs> <laughs> and not only kids, to be honest. I mean, it's even grown-up uh, guys. Right. Now, my friends, um, let me share a word <clears throat> and discuss um, some of the language usage I heard um, uh, in the breakout rooms. Just one second. Ah, and now, my friends, I heard someone saying... Uh, talking, of course, about the problems um, of pollution, try to aware them. Now, I mean, I would say uh, that's not a natural usage of the word aware. But how can we re-say this in a correct way, my friends? Let me go to Reda. Yes, Reda. Okay, so basically, uh, it, it should be try to raise awareness. Uh. <clears throat> try to raise maybe their awareness, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Now, let me go to Nancy. Nancy, is there another way of saying try to aware them but correctly? Rada gave us. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking of educate people or enlighten people. I love that. Um, educate people or enlighten people them i love that okay uh one last suggestion from hebe yeah i was about to say um to uh <laughs> i forgot what i want to say to uh, spread awareness spread awareness or okay. to bring out the, into the open spread awareness and we can say also make them aware right right yeah so, sure hmm. to, to make them acquainted with the rules uh, okay, lovely. Wonderful. Thank you, my friends. Let me go to another one. I heard someone pronouncing this, but um, incorrectly. So how should we say this verb in English language? Raise your hands if you're ready. Uh, let me go to Jihad. Jihad, how do we say this one? Yeah. Yeah, it's get, right? And But how do we pronounce this one? Yeah. It's git, right? So yeah. there is the difference yeah. between get and git. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. git, git is usually a, a bad British word. It means someone who is stupid. Okay? But get is the normal English verb. Right. Good. Um, I also heard someone saying, put a bag of trash in the water. Well, I mean, um, that's a correct sentence in terms of grammar, but in, in terms of usage, is, is that the right verb to use in, in a sentence like this one or in a phrase like this one? Um, who can give me a better option? Genna? Throw. Yeah, so, yeah. Throw would be a better a, a, a better option. Draw to throw a bag of trash in the water. Okay, because put. Uh, I I don't know. I don't think it's. Can we use drop? To drop, maybe. Okay. Maybe get rid of. Yeah, but get rid of. You can't say get rid. Um, <clears throat> of a bag of trash in the water? So, mm. uh, not really. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, I have a question. I have a question. Yes. So basically, because the word put a bag or throw a bag and again, drop a bag, that means it, it's, it's if, you, if you just picture it, it has a different mechanism of the action. Basically, yeah. this is someone who has a bag that is full of trash and then he throws the bag as it is in... Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> which is which is something I'm not really sure if that's the real meaning because they might mean empty a bag of trash. And that's another mechanism of the action. This uh, is well, where you yeah. Um, but for me, when I say put a bag of trash in the water, I don't know. I, I in my head I see someone who is very calm and taking the bag and exactly. putting it there. But exactly. usually usually people will throw it, throw the whole right. bag away. I don't know. Um, it's it's a matter of collocation. However, you know, I, I wouldn't say that this is linguistically wrong. It's correct. But if if the speaker means throw, then it is better to use throw, unless you actually mean put, um, which is something that uh, I don't think most people do. I mean, when... Uh, As if it is the, the right place for it, to put it. To put it? Yeah. Do, do they yeah, do I that? mean, wrong again. Sorry? Um, well, I mean, if, if, um, if this is what happened in a story, then it's correct, I would say. If someone walks Maybe in... The word is throw... The word to throw implies that uh, he is careless about or he doesn't care about uh, the water and everything. Well, I agree. But but again, finally, it depends on what actually happened. And uh, this is someone that exactly. only the speaker yeah. knows, knows of. Yeah. Right. Uh, Can we use another one? Yeah, please. What is what is your suggestion? Toss. Oh, toss. I love it as well. Yeah. Because also it has the sense of throwing, which is which usually collocates with, you know, rubbish and trash and all that stuff um but let's go to we can say mr uh with with, with, an, with, with an adverb carelessly uh put the, the bag of a bag of trash oh yeah i mean actually i'm not against the use of the word <laughs> or his leftover yeah mm -hmm. yes please okay uh, i'm not against the use of the word of the verb put um i'm just trying to Im you know, when I was listening to the story, what I got is that it was thrown, but the verb uh, throw was not used. But if this is actually what happened in the story, then fine. Right. Um, then I heard someone saying, and then that's um, it uh, may collapse the echo system. Uh, let me just make this capital. It uh, wait. It may collapse the ecosystem. Uh, what's wrong uh, with this mm -hmm. sentence? Raise your hands if you have an uh, an idea. Hmm. Only she had an. Okay, let's go to Hibatullah Muhammad. Yes, Hiba. What do you think? Um, I think we can use this verb collapse with a kind of building or something like this. And we can replace it with ruin or destroy or damage. So we can we can replace it with ruin something. Okay. So I would say we can say it may ruin damage. the ecosystem. But let me say something. How can we re-say it by using the verb collapse correctly? Um, let me go to Hiba. Hiba, any idea? Yeah, I, I'm asking if, if we can say it might instead of may. No, but the problem is not with may and might. Mm -hmm. The problem is with the usage of collapse here. Now, let me... It uh, might lead... It might, sorry, mister. It might lead to the collapse of the ecosystem. Ah, okay. It might... I, let know, me I, know, I know the answer now. It might lead to the collapse of the ecosystem. Lovely. But let me just check with... Um, who said I know the right answer now? Yeah, oh, I, 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 yes. just, I, I just have got it. Um, I think the labs uh, can start with the ecosystem itself. Yes, uh, I was going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> I got it now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so the ecosystem, can you continue this? Could be. Uh, the ecosystem may collapse. Yeah, it's because usually collapse is um, an untransitive verb. Like it's not followed mm -hmm. by an object. So and, and this is why this is a wrong usage, because we can't have an object here. That's wrong, right? So, but if we say the ecosystem may collapse, it, it is fine, right? Good. Now, let me um, also discuss this one with you. Some, some was saying this word, but there was a problem with the pronunciation of um, this um, letter in bold. How are we supposed to say this word, my friends? Uh, let me just, yeah. How are we supposed to say it? Let me go to Safwat. Yes, yeah, Safwat. 
So, four. so I, I think uh, yes, yes, I'm here. Yes. So uh, I think it will be number. Yeah, yeah, it's number. Thank you so much, Sofwat. Yeah, it's correct. It's it's not not because I heard someone saying num 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 with a schwa like number. It's not number. It's number number na na. Right. Um, thank you. Now I also heard someone saying, "Uh huh." Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, I heard someone saying the marine. Is, is, is this correct pronunciation when you say the marine? No. 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 Uh, what What is the correct answer? Jenna. Marine. Well, yeah. I'm, the problem actually, I want to. Oh, not that. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. not the the. Yes, oh, because yeah. it's not it started. It doesn't. It doesn't start with a vowel sound. Actually, Excellent. So, so it is the marine, not the marine, right? Um. It, well, again, it's it's correct if you say the marine as a strong yeah. form, but when you are emphasizing, but exactly. actually, what I heard um, when I was listening, there was no emph emphasis whatsoever, and that's why I say it's you're supposed to say the marine, and if you if you use the strong form of the, which is the, then you you, you will need to be emphasizing something. Right. Thank you so much, my friends, and I guess we came Hi, to the Mr. end. Uh, Mr. Shady, could I? Yes. Yeah, uh, the, going back to the point of uh, it may lead to the or it might lead to the collapse of. Can we make yeah. it passive in order to highlight that the main reason for this is what uh, he has done, for example? So we can say uh, 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 the up ecosystem might be collapsed. Make it passive. No, you can't again because no. you can mm -hmm. use it as a passive when the verb is uh, trans transitive, but it's not. It's it's, it's a non transitive verb. It's like when you say the sun rises, you know? Oh, yeah. So yeah, you, yeah, yeah. It's, it, 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 yeah, it's yeah. rise. You can't do anything about it. You cannot use it even with that sense in passive, you know? Um, yeah, I understand now. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So with uh, no object. Lovely, my friends. Now, my demo is over.